Ashkal is a dark Tunisian thriller. It follows two police officers, one from the old regime, the other from after the revolution, both searching for the reasons behind a series of immolations. The film is this year's winner of the main prize at the Pan-African Film and Television Festival held in Burkina Faso's capital, Ouagadougou. The jury recognized a powerful film that offered a subtle critique of Tunisia's struggle after the Arab Spring. Over 170 films in 11 categories were in competition. Among them, a Moroccan movie exploring the shame of same-sex love, a drama treating survivors of rape in Burkina Faso, or a musical from Cameroon looking at neo-colonialism and its denial. This film's director is the winner of the Usman Semben Prize. He says the festival is a chance to put on the big screen the hidden realities of African societies through fiction. Every director's dream is to do that film that uh, goes beyond culture, be beyond your own culture. And Fespaco having given us an opportunity to showcase this film here meant it got to be seen by many more people, different cultures. Cinemas in Africa were shutting down because of a lack of state funding, but private investment in a growing middle class is changing that. Theaters in Africa are reopening, but they rarely showcase films made by African directors. And so the challenge is for African films to be distributed into what is a promising industry. It's predicted to bring $20 billion in revenue. But more than the income, African cinema is an opportunity to plunge into a world of creative narratives, too often overlooked. This film inspired me to dare things I wouldn't do. It gave me the courage to fight for what I really want. The festival aims to showcase filmmakers from Africa that resonates to a global audience. African stories beyond Africa. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar, Senegal.